All right, you guys, this little three pack has something pretty nasty going on. And I'm gonna show you guys all about it. Earlier, I was checking them out while they were in the litter box. They've had pretty gross poop. So I was taking a look at them and I saw something undeniable. Tapeworms. So today I'm gonna teach you guys about how to identify tapeworms and what to do. see something very suspicious in there. We're gonna investigate. Oh yeah. All right, so this is a pile of gross diarrhea and inside of it, you can see that there are some little white moving segments, okay? This is a tapeworm segment. It looks almost like little pieces of rice, but they're moving. Oh yeah. This is full of tapeworm segments. So tapeworm segments are like the little end pieces of a tapeworm, which will sometimes um, break off and be found kind of clinging around the fur on their butt, um, or you can find it in their stool. When your kitten has diarrhea like this, it's always something that you need to investigate closely. For these guys, we actually sent out a stool sample and did a fecal test, but it came back negative. However, now I'm seeing that they have active live tapeworms in them. So the other thing I'm seeing in here is, check this out, what's going on here? Woo! Oh boy. This is very exciting. <laughs> so this is actually um, an adult tapeworm. You don't often see these in their stool, but if you see a worm like this that has almost like these little divots, uh, this is an adult tapeworm. So, wow, I don't usually see that, but that's all the confirmation I need. Most of the time when a kitten has worms, you're not gonna see them in their stool, but tapeworms are one of those exceptions where you often will see a sign of them. Oh, gross. Yeah, so these guys, this is disgusting, y'all. They have adult worms and the segments coming out. Oh my God. Now you can see not all of the kittens in this group seem to be actively pooping out tapeworm segments, but you can assume if one of them has it, all of them need to be treated. You are just so darn cute. You wouldn't even know that you're full of worms. It's true. So tapeworms are a very common intestinal parasite that kittens can get. They actually get them from eating infected fleas. What happens is that the flea larva eats a tapeworm egg, and then it matures into an adult flea, which can infect the kitten. When the kitten's grooming, they eat the flea, and then the tapeworm egg is released and anchors itself inside the kitten's intestines. So it's like a parasite within a parasite. Super gross. When you see that a kitten has fleas, that doesn't necessarily mean that they are going to have tapeworms, but it means they might have tapeworms. So these kittens had fleas when they arrived and it was really not a big surprise to me that they have tapeworms too. Now it's important to know that tapeworms are not treated using the same medication that's used to treat other common worms. So if your shelter or rescue has told you the kitten has been dewormed, they may mean that they've just received pyrantal pamoate. This is a really common dewormer that's used to treat things like roundworm and hookworms, but it's not gonna do anything for tapeworms. For tapeworms, we're going to need a different medication called praziquantel. Now, this has a lot of different brand names, but praziquantel is the drug name, and this is the one that I'm going to be using today. So make sure that you are talking to a veterinarian about a prescription and also about what dose your cat or kitten will need. Now this medication comes as a big white pill like this. And one pill is a typical dose for the average size adult cat. But of course we have little kittens. So for my little ones, their dose is going to be a quarter tablet. Yours might be different, so talk to your vet. Uh, but this is why I have this handy dandy pill cutter here. To use the pill cutter, I just take my pill, put it in the end here, and close that down. 
to split it in half. Then I take my half pill and I just line it up proportionately and I close it again to get my quarter pill. And one more time, because I have three kittens, I need three quarters. Easy peasy. All right, so here I have my three little quarter pills of Prazi Quantil, and I am going to give them to the kittens. Okay, pilling kittens is not my favorite thing, but it can be done. This is a small pill. I'm gonna take Moz's head, I'm gonna hold it sturdy. I'm gonna open the side of his mouth and I'm gonna shove the pill as far back in the throat as I can. And that's it. There you go. You did it. Obviously, you just want to confirm that they did actually swallow it. Sometimes you might have to hold their head for a moment to make sure they don't spit it out. Sometimes I will tap on the throat like that. And usually once they lick their lips, as long as there is nothing coming out of their mouth, they've taken their pill. Good job. Did you swallow it? Here we go. Now keep in mind, those pills do not taste good. So it's a very kind thing if you can follow up medication time with a little delicious treat. Oh, Roni, I'm so sorry you have worms in your butt. That's not a fun day at all. Good job, boys. Now you are treated for tapeworms. You did a good job. Yeah.